Armageddon 2027 Armageddon in the year 2027 The sixth seal was opened in 1799 This resulted in the Ottoman Empire drying up in 1867 there was emancipation of the Jews in Austria and Hungary. This fulfilled the 2400 years evening morning period of Daniel chapter 8 verses 13 to 14 freeing the Jews to practice their religion. 2400 years ago in BC 604 King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon took control of Jerusalem. Jerusalem was to be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Luke chapter 21 and verse 24. These times were declared to be seven times. See Leviticus chapter 26 verses 18 and 24 and Daniel chapter 4 verse 16. A time is a Jewish year of 360 days. In prophecy a day represents a year. See the book of Numbers chapter 14 and verse 34. Therefore a time is 360 years. Seven times are 360 times seven which is 2520 years. From 604 BC Adding 2520 brings us to 1917. In 1917, the Balfour Declaration declared support for establishing Arab and Jewish states, dividing a Jewish year of 360 days by 12. We get a Jewish month of 30 days each day, represents a year. One hour with the beast is 30 years. Adding 30 years to 1917 brings us to 1947. The UN Resolution 181, the establishing of Jewish and Arab states in 1867 to 1917 is a jubilee period. 1867, 1917, 1967, 2017 and 20. 67 are jubilee periods. Each jubilee is significant in Jewish history. 1967 is the Six Day War when the Jews took control of Jerusalem. This year starts the countdown for the generation that shall not pass away until all is fulfilled. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 34. If we add 70 years to 1967, we come to the year 2037. By 2037, Armageddon would have already happened. The final jubilee year of the 21st century is 2067. The fourth beast of Daniel chapter 7 had ten horns. A little horn grew up and uprooted three of them. This happened when Charlemagne defeated the Vandals, the Lombards and the Huns and gave their territory to the Pope. Charlemagne is crowned the Holy Roman Emperor by the Pope in 800 AD. The little Arn or the papacy was to continue for a time, times and a dividing of time. Daniel chapter 7 and verse 25. So we have 360 plus 720 and 180 which is 1260 years from 800 AD this brings us to 2060 the last war with the papacy is to last one hour or 30 years see Revelation chapter 14 and verse 7 Revelation chapter 17 and verse 12 Revelation chapter 18 and verse 10 17 and 19. The war ends in the year 2060. Therefore the war starts in 2030. Today the European Union consists of 
27 different nations. By 2030, there must be exactly 10 that support the papacy in the war against Christ. See Revelation chapter 17, verses 12, 13 and 17. By 2030, Christ has already destroyed Gog on the Mount of Olives. See Zechariah chapter 14 and verse 4. The resurrection and judgment occurs before 2030. The second coming of Christ is represented by the days of Noah. Luke chapter 17 and verse 26 to 27. The times associated with Noah were 120 years. Warning. Warning the people to repent. See Genesis chapter 6 and verse 3 and a 40 day flood period Genesis chapter 7 and verse 4 the 40 day flood is symbolic of the military conquest by Christ and the glorified host of saints lasting 40 years in Revelation chapter 10 this multitude is known as the rainbow angel See Deuteronomy chapter 33, Psalm 68, Isaiah 63, Habakkuk chapter 3 and Revelation chapter 10. If 2060 is the year that all war ends, the military conquest begins 40 years earlier in the year 2020. The resurrection and judgment must take place before 2020. Given that the year 2060 is the year that ends all war, what is the year 2067 all about? It is the final jubilee of the 21st century. 2060 is the year all Jews are gathered from the nations. The second exodus lasts a period of 40 years. See the book of Micah chapter 7 and verse 15. 40 years period. See Zechariah chapter 14 and verse 4 and verse 5 and verse 6 and 7. And Revelation chapter 16 and verse 18. The year 2027 begins the seventh vial which ends Armageddon with Christ intervening on the Mount of Olives. It takes seven years to burn the weapons. See the book of Ezekiel chapter 39 and verse 9. This lasts from 2027 to 2033. The Jews start their second exodus back to Jerusalem. Forty years later, they enter the kingdom of God. Ezekiel's temple starts to be built and is finished in the year 2060. The Balfour Declaration in 1917 gave the world a 120-year warning similar to that of Noah's day. 1917 plus 120 years brings us to 2037. 2037 plus 40 years brings us to 2077. The Kingdom of God begins after the Battle of Armageddon in the year 2027. By the year 2067 the Jews will have been regathered to the land of Israel from the nations, from the Gentiles. The days were shortened just as Jesus promised. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 22. He intervenes 10 years earlier in 2027. Otherwise Gog would completely annihilate the Jews. From 2027 to 2030 is a three and a half year period called the mid Proclamation which warns the world to submit to Jesus Christ or be destroyed. Revelation chapter 14 and verse 6. 
This is represented by Christ's three and a half year ministry. The papacy and other rebellious goat nations refuse to submit. See Psalm 2 and declare war on Christ. Revelation chapter 17 and verse 4. Revelation chapter 19 and verse 19.